Yes, my friends, it is Saturday night. You made it to the weekend. How the hell y'all doing with your boy Cam from the beautiful, and I do mean beautiful, on days like today, dear sweet baby, dead Jesus. It was gorgeous today. Like, I'm already getting like a bit of a, a sunburn. I'm a ginger. What do you expect? I'm getting a sunburn for my light right now. But seriously, it was gorgeous. Had my kiddo down by the river. If you're on the Discord, you saw that video I sent to, sent to uh, all y'all fine people. All y'all fine people. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're in episode four of our very first playthrough of Alan Wake. We're live in your home, on your phone, on your tablet, or your TV. Across multiple platforms. Kick. Twitch. DLive, YouTube, and Rumble. Um, I appreciate every single one of you for popping in this evening, whether you're Stephanie, who's in the pregame chat there. Good to see you. Uh, or if you're lurking across some more platforms, I see a couple of you out there. This game is flipping nuts. Um, it seriously had my heart going on episode three, man. Like, I think we had three shorts and a quickie that came out of last episode. And y'all know my schedule, like, it's hard for me to do extra content outside streams. We fought, we, we had extra content there, my friends. Oh, yes, we did. Yes, we did. And it was glorious. Absolutely glorious. So, whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Oh, God. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Okay, so, okay, yo, at the end of the episode, thank you, Stephanie, glad you, uh, thank you for that. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit, because when the other volume gets high, there we go. So, at the end of last episode, dude, fuck you. <laughs> I see you brought your pet gorilla with you, so sure, I'm calm. I get the message, loud and clear. Why, right. That's the spirit. You're being very brave, Alan. Don't patronize me. You're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Okay. Okay, so, thank you, this, this just triggered my memory. End of last episode, we were running from the darkness, right? And at the end, the darkness chased us, and we dove off a cliff, I think. Uh, or it grabbed us, and we used our flashlight, and it dropped us into the, uh, the, the, the lake where all the shit went down. And then we woke up in Dr. Hartman's clinic here, clinic. And we were told that we had murdered our wife. We had killed her. And that connected the dots for me, like, um, to a movie Leonardo DiCaprio was in, uh, Shutter Island. So if this is going down some Shutter Island stuff right now, if you haven't seen Shutter Island, check out Shutter Island. Great movie. Um, then this will be interesting. So essentially what is being proposed to us here is that us, Alan, we killed our wife in a bout of psychosis, and now we're in and out of this psychosis trying to come to grips in terms of what we did. Part of it is writing a book, which apparently is coming true, right? Stephanie knows what I'm talking about? Good stuff. Elizabeth, good to see you. Go watch Shutter Island if you haven't. Great movie. <laughs> but that's what I, the vibe I'm getting here. So, Dr. Hartman is giving Wake a tour of his clinic, explaining that Alice's death has driven Wake into a dark inner world of delusions and fantasies. Let's get it. Nice little basic room. Hey, I guess that's the, the drug they feed us. Creator's Dilemma. Emerson. I bet everything's locked down, right? Oh, that's an E. Oh, shit. Okay. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. Mm. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at right. Iron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid. 
I'm willing he, like, he gets the artist, almost like some misery type shit. He gets these artists in here, and they create in his area, because they're still creating stuff. He gets a cut. I bet there's something, there's some money. This smells like money, Jacob Richardson. How you doing, buddy? Yes, Alan Wake. This is my very first playthrough, and I am absolutely loving it, buddy. I hope you had a great week. How you doing, man? Honestly, believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Uh huh. This thing under control, this dude. Way, Alan. If I murdered my wife, thanks for holding the door open, asshat. Sheesh. Yo, he's got an elevator in this little rustic area. Hold up, I want to look around. Oh, that's a that's a bear. What the hell is that all about? Not bad. Got some laundry done. Very nice, Mister Anderson. That guy probably believes he's in the Matrix. <laughs> No key fob? Oh. Usually in places like this. From past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. Okay. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Denial is the key. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. Oh, okay. You're suffering we didn't kill her. from hallucinations. Paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that every This asshole needs to, like, hold the door for me or something. Like, this guy's just rude. Apparently I have, like, psychosis going on. You don't want me smacking my head on doors, Doc. <laughs> Long ass walk to laundromat, definitely. Oh, man, I've been there. I've, I've, I've been in situations where I haven't had on-site laundry, man. I've been there, bro. I feel ya. It revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your oh. mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario. Okay. But your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. I mean, yeah. This way, Alan. <laughs> I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Mm. Sorry to hear that, Elizabeth. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Right. Everything can be explained logically. Fair enough. What he's explaining isn't wrong. There's been studies about this shit for decades on how people try to process trauma and pain and loss. And in certain certain situations, some people cannot handle that, puppies. Good to see you, buddy. How you been? Hope you're doing well. Cheers to you. What do we have? We had some bangers of mash tonight and some green beans. It was great. It was delicious. But yeah, Elizabeth, I, I hope uh, the cut gets better soon. I hate cuts on my fingers. I always, like, touch them by accident and they sting for, like, a week. Oh, it's a, that's like a little uh, time thing. Okay, so this is overlooking the lake. Over there. I never get tired of this view. Somewhere that's over here. Isn't it? Over there is where the... Spread below yeah. Us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Mm. Now there was nothing but waves. Yeah. Wow. It seems there's a storm coming. Really? Funny, I don't remember. Sundial, thank you, both of you. In the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. I will not get over the fact that Alan has gone through all this shit and he's still wearing the same fucking jacket. <laughs> that he's had on he had on three years ago in New York before this ever happened <laughs> I love how Stephanie and Elizabeth were like both were like on point with the sundial that's great <laughs> Alan what I'm telling you is good news right now we're in control right every time you have a relapse it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination not mm -hmm. surprising considering your profession 
Imagination is what you work with. Right. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. Okay. It's part of the I let him talk. Herman <laughs> obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, I dug my nails into the palms myself. of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, you will begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. All right. That dude sounds like Beavis. The Great Corn Holio. <laughs> like right there, he was like. <laughs> oh, I'm expecting him for a second to just pop up. I am Corn Holio. <laughs> I'm expecting it right now. Keep me. Are you the entrance to the office wing? That's for staff only. Okay. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived. I was. I do love to hunt the great outdoors. Man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Uh -huh. oh, damn wonderful, yeah. <laughs> the Greenwich Guard Hoodie Hall! Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Emerson. <laughs> so we're just gonna stare at this dude? That's kind of rude. Dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. I'm the boogeyman. You just decide what I'm kind get of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No. <laughs> that's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on He's like, video games. Ooh, yeah. It's trash, of course, but it does I'll involve some small head. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. Dude, I love how Remedy Studios took a shot at kid gamers playing their game. He's like, he works on games. It's trash, but it helps him. <laughs> Where's the Joker in here? Right? That's Joker. We got Harley Quinn right over here. This chick over here. Check this out. I, I feel like she's going to break out like, where's Mr. J? <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. Mm. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. So you can sell it? Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by their creative processes. That's quite nice to say. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems, and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored to you. Engagement therapy, trademark, and its sister method, the flow. Work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. I was going to make some type of menstruation joke with the flow. I just wasn't creative enough. So missed opportunity. Sorry. <laughs> Yo, who are you, buddy? Okay. Hey, it's those guys. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. These guys are from episode one. Hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. Was he hitting himself in the head with that? And these two are the Anderson brothers. <laughs> okay. Logan and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. Okay. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. Oh, I thought... Well, in advanced stages of dementia. Ah. Uh, They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. Okay. 
I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. A little too much drugs. Now check this out. What look what they're playing. Oh, they're playing. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Uh, I guess? The board game they're playing. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. No, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. <laughs> crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> Zane. You're all right. Zane. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla. Okay. We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. Are we going to escape this place? Find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave okay. me a rash, but I kept it safe for me. <laughs> what? How did a piece of paper give him a rash, bro? My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. Mm. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? Uh, so yeah, look at the game they're playing. No. <laughs> Night Springs. That's a TV show. Special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Little, little moonshine. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Uh, oh, I just noticed. Yeah, Another Night Springs. Just on the elbows. <laughs> yes. Someone is finally just calling him out. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us mm. all, taken from all of us. Huh. We talk about the chick, the, the and my funeral pile. What was What were they? Memory and thought. The That's right. Odin had two she ravens. From you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. Okay. If you're a creator, this an is... artist, a god. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah. These guys are giving us more information, even though they're crazy. It comes out twisted and raw. Just lamp lady? The lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. She's been using you, boy. And you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? I did? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. Well, at I least... Had to open it all the way, God damn At it. least they're self-aware. Uh, so, hold up. The information we got here... It looks like Mimir? Interesting, Stephanie, from... Yeah. Um, so they, they're talking about the old witch, the, the lady in black, the one who's, right, and they're saying that she's using us just like she originally used the first main writer, right? So, okay, how is this going to connect, guys? I'm, I'm really curious how this is all going to connect. So tired. Built the farm close to the lake. Okay. A place of power. Yeah, uh, go, are they going to sleep? We had parties there, man. You, you Are they gonna pass out? Have a party. All right. Cool. Fat Bob Balder. You still what? Up through the window, hit that a hippie chick in the back of the head. <laughs> stitches of a concussion. Bob's dead now. Leukemia. <laughs> he sounds so sad. Leukemia. Stitches, snitches, and narcs. Man. These guys just keep talking. How many lines did they give them? Are, are we good? I am tired, man. So tired. Yeah, you were kind of getting intense there, bro. Okay. I, I, uh, I want to go home. 
it's kind of I feel kind of sad for them at this point. It's like, oof. We already read that. Alright, back to our room. Where's the lamp lady? Are you the lamp lady? Can I talk to you, lamp lady? She has a lamp. Nah, she's just in her own zone. Oh, yo, this guy's... Ooh. Oh, hello. I've painted you. What? Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. That's terrifying. Someone wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. Okay. I think I'm getting better. Well... I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. Yeah. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. This view, though. Take everything else away. This view is freaking amazing, though. I wonder if we can find a, a coffee cup uh, mug uh, thermos collectible here. Guess not. Yeah, the screaming painting, right? Intense. I don't know what... He flipped the... I'm too scary for them. I take two pills every morning and one with every meal and four when I go to bed. And that makes me the scariest nightmare of all. Why there's no one here at least looking or overseeing these people concerns me. Oh, you know what? They're over here. My bad. My bad. Hey, wake. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Typewriters on your mom. Why don't I write her a story? The doors were locked. Hartman and the nurses would have keys. Hey, zero. No way to get my hands on them. A little bit too much information, bro. <laughs> Straight up, man. A little too much information. I'm I'm happy for you, I guess. I hope you I, hope, I was gonna say I hope you're having a good weekend, but I think you already are. Ah, oh, there it is! Yes, I knew there's a collectible somewhere. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. How was your week, Zero? What'd you get up to, man? Whoa! Something's wrong. I'm not myself. That's me! It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. Right. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. Right. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. Okay, zero. There's a hole in her chest. Where a little she... too far, bro. Just tone it down a little bit, okay? Please. I think I've made a horrible Just a little mistake. too far. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Yeah, that is creepy. Zero, buddy, I gotta let you, like, just, I'll give you a moment here, just kind of turn it back, please. Okay? Appreciate it. Alright. Hartman wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. Yeah, like a hawk. Interesting. Oh, yo, there's another one! Oh shit. Okay, you know, oh my phone's over there. Dang it. <laughs> okay, what I'll do when I do the replay, guys, I will scan that. That goes to a, a legit video on YouTube. Hey, what's good, Camino? <laughs> How's it going? I don't have Snake Eater in uh, my name, do I? No, I don't. <laughs> oh, I think that's the title. This is my flashlight. This is, you mean Full Metal Jacket? <laughs> But yeah, I will put a, a link to that video, whatever that goes to, in the, the replay, guys. How are you doing, Camino? I haven't uh, seen you in a while. How are you doing? Oh, going the other way. My bad. No, sir, this is Alan Wake, and I'm having a blast with it. Something else over here? Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't hmm. been activated, and there was no key. You'd think they would know what they're doing, but I guess not. <laughs> Anyone else's doors open? No? Okay. It's worth a look.
Here we go. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. Oof. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake. You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Are the Andersons getting a little bit crazy right now? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Let's fucking go. Glad you're doing good, Camille. Gross. That's so creepy. Oh, manuscript page. <laughs> oh, this is new. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping. Okay. Things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him, but there was fear too. Mm. Not for his young assistant Emil. He would have given it up, but Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. Interesting. Camino, have you played it through Alan Wake? Do you, have you seen it? Have, do you know it at all? Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. That's our... And smiled and clapped a practice hand. Barry is our publicist. You know I never play it, but you own it on 360? Nice, dude. This game has been fantastic. Amazing. I'm loving it. It's Get in here. I'm Sinclair it. looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office wing from Sinclair. The backstage is all I had to get to Hartman's Tom office. He had taken destiny. all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been keeping them. Okay. Yo, those old, those old farts, man. Like, smack someone with a hammer? It's crazy. There's all the paintings Buddy has been... That wolf looks really flipping cool. Like, holy shit. Look at these paintings. Tapes said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. That's so creepy. That looks so... Like, they look so good, but they're creepy as F. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? The parties? Angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No. Not with me. No. Never. Hmm. I... Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Why? Because it'll be suddenly to a conversation he couldn't just... Hmm. Got it. But no. He just... Alan doesn't really sleep. And the work? Well, he's not writing. Okay. Very encouraging. I want to say, I look at you, and it's not you. There's some stranger who resembles you. Huh. Looking out from behind your eyes. And I don't like that guy much. And now it's all going to go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No. No. I've tried, but... This is intense. Ha, <laughs> nice double there.
I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The Ooh. phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. Huh. This is kind of tying back to, once again, why they came here. Right? She was trying to get him here in the first place at the beginning of the game. So this is looking, is this more of a real thing? Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. What well, was part of Hartman's plan? Like, Hartman's got... S I think his wife came to Hartman with, with a pot, like, good intentions. I feel Hartman, like, somehow takes advantage of the situation. I really do. I feel like there's some crooked shit going on here. Welcome back, Elizabeth. There's some crooked shit going on. I just don't know what it is. on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. Oh. Interesting. Let me out of here! Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna do your crazy quack ass to slay! Is that Barry? It is Barry! Let's fucking go! Do you have any idea how much trouble you're in? I am famous! <laughs> I represent a celebrity. <laughs> Who are you, Paul Heyman? I want to see how he goes. Really? Okay, that's how we'll play it. It'll be hardball all the way. You're seriously, man. He keeps going. Forget the whole thing if you let me out now. Just let me out. Hey, you think I can't hear you out there? I hear you just fine. What, is this how you get your kick, Hartman? I knew you were weird. You got that weird guy in the <laughs> yeah. one of those nurses, I'll double what he's paying you. Wow. Okay? Do you have any idea how much I make as an agent of a best-selling writer? A lot. Uh, is a personal check good? <laughs> All right, here we go. Barry? He's hiding behind a statue? Barry, man, I'm glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no. The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Yeah, he probably would. I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time, but I had no clue where you were. Right. It's crazy out. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? Mm -hmm. I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on. Rose had no choice, man. Rose had no choice. He wouldn't have known that. Poor Rose, man. She... Nah, dude. I feel bad for Rose. Anything else to grab? Hey, another coffee thermos. Let's go. Christian, what's good, buddy? Happy to see you, man. Happy Saturday night. Darkness better lawyer up. <laughs> right? Hey, you. Creepy, ethereal, supernatural darkness. Get your fucking ass to court. I can sue your ass. <laughs> Oh gosh. A gun? Okay. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Oh. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. It's on un it's unloaded. Ah, well, it was unloaded. Shot. Really? Let's work together. You're gonna punch him in the face? You have no idea. Hartman, shut up. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just go. Is Barry in on it? Wake, listen to me. 
This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. What is this? Bye, Doc. I had to find a way out. Right, the dark presence is what we're calling it. Oh my god. Uh, no, nope, 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 I don't like this. Uh, go. Oh my god. I guess we're not going that way. Over here? Oh, we're going this way. Uh, not that way, my bad, sorry. Uh, yeah. Right here, can I grab this? Oh god, there's a concussion. Oh my god, where the fuck can I get flashlights? Dude, we're dead. We're so dead. I guess we're going upstairs. Upstairs. Aha! Right. Because we got the key now. Here we go. I totally forgot about this thing. <laughs> Whew. This is crazy. Oh, man. Oh. Got rid of them all. <laughs> Sucker. Oh, we got... Okay. If that bear comes to life, I'm going to lose it. Oh shit, can I turn it on again? Time to turn it on again. Dude, look at the smoke coming off of that. There we go. Gotta go, gotta go. I'm running. Woo. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, okay. Do I go in here? Okay, I guess we do. Flashlight, please. A flare. Okay, yes. What's this? Motor oil? Oh shit, what? Did we go up top? Through here. Holy jeez. So we don't have any more flares. Most of us have built this shadow on us. A shiver down your back. Boob tube? This is really a bad time. This is the game that the guys were playing. It's kind of hard to hear. The, the dark presence can wait while we watch. Hey, what's that up ahead? Oh God, there's someone in the road. I think there's been an accident. The Doom Samaritan, yeah. Oh no, Linda! Oh no, it was me on the road. I wait. What? Tell him to watch out for the truck. Watch out for the truck. My, my God, Mark. 
Watch out for the truck! <laughs> Watch out for the truck! No, Linda! <laughs> Linda! Thanks for the ride, Is it replaying? I think there's been an accident. Is it just replaying now? <sighs> it, it... Are you alright? Oh no, Linda! Oh no! With me on the road! I wait! Tell him to watch out for the truck! Watch out for the truck! The truck! My god! And she doesn't like even listen! Ah! My god! Yeah, Adam! <laughs> Night Springs! Dun dun dun! Alright. Hartman's mission. Hartman knew he was no creator. Right. He had no ambitions on that front. Okay. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe. Right. Or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction. Be a producer. Mm -hmm. what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Yeah, so God forbid he do he does a little bit of sales work, relationship building to you know what other producers do to earn their clients' business. He just basically made them come to him. I knew something was fucking sneaky about that dude, man. Uh, do not want. Do not want. I want out. Guess we're not going through there. Go through here. Nope. Can't go through there. Can't go through here. And we came from here. So where are we going then? Oh, shit! I see what's happening here. Okay, miss me, bitch. Aha! Fuck this shit, I'm out. Oh shit, I'm running, I'm running. Damn it, I have the keys, right? Nope, I don't, don't have the keys. Oh no, why? I don't know what to do. Oh, Jesus. Hold on, I get it, I get it, I get it. There we go, there we go. I took the hit, fuck it, I'm out. He's got a flashlight, let's go! I'm pretty sure... There's like... A coffee oh, thermostat. But the gate's locked! You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there! A hedge maze, of course there's a hedge maze. Take this, Adam. Yes! Let's go! That's fucking... Hedge maze, hedge maze. Stop it. God damn it. This is fucking creepy, man. I missed something? Did I miss a thermos? Is there a thermos around here somewhere? Now that I'm confident nothing is running after me, we can kind of look around a little bit. Dude, the light coming through there. This is insane. No. All right. Fuck it. Let's get out of here. Ooh, batteries. Yes, please. Ooh. Give me more of those. Okay. Uh, okay. 
Here we go. The light is safe. We are now out of the lights. Wait. No? Okay. I thought it was one of the... Oh, no. Right, a hedge maze. Shit. What's going to pop out of nowhere, man? Oh, no. <laughs> Those evil guys, man. Hey, it's a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Doesn't have as nice of a parking spot, though. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Oh, I hate that shit. I figure there's gonna be one coming from the fucking back end. I, I, oh. Whenever there's one, there's gotta be more. Don't trust Emil. That was the the person that the original author was uh, had used. Oh, no. Oh, manuscript page. I didn't even see it, man. I'm already like... <sighs> Wake sees the old god stage. The stage the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. Hey, build it and they will come, right? Split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting. It felt strangely... Yo, that sounds pretty fucking, like, heavy metal right there. I love the sound of that. Yeah. Of course they are. Where you at? I heard him. Oh, God! I did that by accident. I, that was a panic flare. Oh, it's a big boy. Dude, this guy's so big. Pause. Miss me, bitch. Woo! Turn around the corner. That guy was a giant. Holy crap. I didn't want to waste another flare because I just wasted one. Well, before we go this way, I want to check back here. Whew. Aha! Nice. Hartman and the power failure. Hartman hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. Uh-huh. But this was not an ordinary storm. No, it wasn't. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. How did we do that? It was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked... That's true. ...just to be sure. That's true. They were talking forever. Right? They were talking forever. Nothing here. Someone's talking. Meow. Barry? Where you at, Barry? Where's my boy here? As much as Barry's like kind of like the overprotective agent, and he definitely... <sighs> he definitely takes advantage of Alan's success. He does, like... Part of Barry, like, the, a majority of Barry's concern, I think, is the fact that he needs Alan's money. 
Like, Allen is his only main client, so he's got to make sure Allen's kicking ass because that's the only way he's getting paid. I think there is a small part of Barry that does legitimately care about Allen, though. I do. Not much, maybe, but there's, there is some, there's some good in there. As long as Alan's money is good, so is Barry's loyalty, you know what I mean? I hear birdies. That's, uh, buddy. We're gonna have to fight what's-his-nuts. There he is. Oh! Oh, shit. You birds. There's so many of them. Oh shit! Dude, they came out of nowhere. Well, they didn't. I just didn't know where. You know, I'm just gonna chill right here, alright? That way. Yo, ho, real. <laughs> yeah, dude. How you doing, real? Huh? Having a good time, buddy? Hope so. Oh, we got the flare gun. I missed that. Oh. That that other guy. Like took all my my. I need more batteries. It's so bad. Happy Saturday. Oh. Yo, what the what do those things ever do to you, bull? I need batteries badly. Ooh, we're down no batteries. I don't like this, man. This makes me you know the schedule, my friend. You know the schedule. I showed you where to find it, too. I think it's actually next on the list. I think, actually, it's either um, Assassin's Creed Syndicate is our next one, and then Final Fantasy V, or it's the other way around. Oh, we got no more birds, man. If those birds attacked, I'm hooped, because I don't have any flashlight batteries left. And we actually just wrapped up... <coughs> Go through puberty again. We just wrapped up um, Alienation on Thursday night. So that was fun. Give me some batteries. Oh, yeah, shoddy. Let's go. Manuscript page. Hello. I'm close on Final Fantasy V? Like, I'm close to the end? I hope. That, that, that's cool. I'm, I'm so excited for Final Fantasy VI. I can't wait for Final Fantasy VI. Yeah, three more? Okay. Nice. All right, Martin Charge. Wink was smarter than him. Fuck yeah. Get more money. Fuck yeah. Wife. Fuck yeah. Everything. Fuck yeah. Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. So, there's a lot of times where people in this type of field, not all nurses are, are like this, but a, there's some people who have inferiority complexes, and so they need to be in a place of power over other people. And this mod guy was one of those people, where he can exert some type of control or power over people. 
I mean, it's pretty sad that the power control he has is of people who are mentally disturbed. That's not saying much, you know? Oh, Final Fantasy VI is going to be great. I haven't played Final Fantasy VI in, th like, in 15 plus years, and it is one of my favorites. It's going to be great once we get to that one, guys. All right, we still have any batteries, though, dude. Uh, oh, we got a shoddy, at least. That's something. Anything back here? No. I hear more birds. I don't like it because we have no batteries. Is there any batteries around here? That look like it. Yes, Camino, what is on your mind? What do you suggest? And I hope it's not Fall Fantasy Tactics. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, wow. It's always so for the back. Oh, wow. I'm getting wrecked. Miss me, bitch. Bitch! Woo! But yeah, is it, Camino, is it, is it tactics? <laughs> I'm curious. Oh, real, uh, that's uh, stuff you gotta deal with, I guess, bro. <laughs> Okay. Tactics A2. <laughs> 12. Well, you know what? Here's the thing. Once we get through the pixel remasters, I'm going to see if we just keep going. I, I you know, I, I mean, I'm thinking, I've been thinking about it, especially with, you know, Rebirth, that just, or, uh, Rebirth just came out, right? So, any, any batteries? No. Another wheelbarrow. Shit. Stephanie, you're enjoying it? No, the regular 12. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, you know what? It's interesting. 12 wasn't my favorite. The battle system was very interesting, and I, it felt like I couldn't get behind the story as much. It was just too large. I still was able to stick through it. I feel like I like 12 more than 15. 15, just, you get lost in the wilderness and the story goes bye-bye. <laughs> but, I'm very interested in maybe doing Final Fantasy XII and maybe I can do something where it's like, hey, people who are good at Final Fantasy XII, come on stream and tell me what gambits to use. Sorry, you know, regular 12. So you want to play Revenant Wings on the DS? Interesting, I'd have to get a ROM for that. Okay. Got it. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Camino. Little people are cute and funny when they fall down. <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Hopefully we got some batteries here. Whoa, what, what, what? Another manuscript. Oh, shit. Okay. Barry attacked by taking... Oh, no! For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. Right. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay. Okay in the gloomy forest at night. Oh no. He just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry no, not Barry. Him. The world exploded. Not Barry, fuck. Now, like, I'm really concerned right now. I mean, yo, this is a nice place, though. If it wasn't for the fucking creepy shit. Emil made Tom do it. Now, Emil is a male. The witch we're dealing with is female. But what's the connection here? Is what I'm trying to figure out. Please have some fucking batteries in here. Oh, thank God. Only four, huh? But that's interesting. Revenant Wings, Camino, on uh, DS. I'd have to get a uh, DS emulator. So I... I I do have a DS. I just don't have a way to stream it or connect it. So where is Barry, man? I feel bad for our guy. Is there anything over here? 
Feels like there's a secret. Now, Stevie, keep in mind, like, as we, after Final Fantasy VI, the games go, like, from, Final Fantasy VI was basically the end of the, uh, the Super Nintendo era, right? The 16-bit era, and then Final Fantasy VII moved into the PlayStation 1, which is 32-bit, if I remember correctly, right? So they're not as cute, but they're still kind of blocky. Oh, hi, boys. Oh, shit. Bitch. Yo, these guys are fast. Oh, wow. He comboed my ass. Get out of here. Yeah, your buddy got fucked up. How you, you're next. Ooh. Ooh. I'm only inserting one battery because our batteries recharge on their own. Like, his flashlight is the most crazy thing ever. So what's the battle system of Revenant Wings? I'm curious. Could you, sh like, how, how does that work? Compared to regular Final Fantasy XII, which was like the Gambit system. Was it uh, uh, turn-based or what? Dirge of Cerberus? I'd be very willing to do Dirge of Cerberus again. I haven't played that. Or was it Dirge of Cerberus? That's the Vincent one, right? Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus, right? I would definitely be willing to do Dirge of Cerberus. I haven't done that since, oh God, since I was like 21. Like that was after, hold up. That was after I broke up with Lisa. <laughs> I tell time with like when I broke up with exes and shit. She moved out and I was in the place by myself. How old I was in, was I 20? I think it was like 22 or something like that. I haven't played Zerd Surs in that long, man. It was crazy. There's a, okay. I'm gonna get jumped. We're getting jumped right here, folks. Watch for this. The thermos, okay, very nice. It wants me to go that way. Ooh, shoddy, 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 fuck yes. Oh, how did I miss all this shit? Let's go. Hold up. Yes, thank you, Stephanie. That's very true. And that's why they're probably giving us some flares here too, right? How's your how's uh, homework and studying right now, by the way? Are you able to get to, uh, any bit of a break this weekend? Hartman sedates Wake. Oh, no. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom... Since Tom! Sleep well, Alan. Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. So yeah, Hartman has been taking advantage of artists to be able to get a cut of the things they make at his location. He's a fucking crook. I told you this had money all over from the beginning as soon as we learn more about this motherfucker. Crooked as a fucking stick that my kid picks up in the forest. Let's finish drinking? Oh, Staple and Mr. Kiwi, I thought you were drinking. 10 years ago? Oh, nummy. I love Snapple. Snapple's so good. Ribbon Wings different than any Final Fantasy game. 2.5D uses stylus. Ah. Not quite real time, but not quite tactics. Okay, as long as it's not real, like, tactics style, just because I suck. It's not that tactics is a bad game. Apparently, like, it's an amazing game. I just can't, I just don't get it, and I don't have the patience to really get into it. So, yeah. Sick your social media marketing class. You can't get it. Oh, Stephanie, I'm sorry. I wish there's something I could do to help, in some way, shape, or form. Oh, we got big boy over here, look at that. Right there, big boy. Okay, shit's about to go down. I'm saving that flare gun, though. Hey, hey sir, oh, that's Barry, never mind. We mean maybe. Fuck. Uh, you better. Am I controlling Barry? Okay. Oh no. Oh, 
Oh shit. Oh. Oh wow. Yo, I'm in a bad spot. Where's... Dude, seriously? Fuck! I wasted that. Woo, that was sick! Fuck, I hate the rushing attack. Dodge! Damn. Oh my god, that was so tough. It's because I wasted that flare gun though. Okay, I'm gonna save the shoddy for later here. Hurry up, Barry. Fuck. Oh my god, dude, like this is so hard. <sighs> what if I fucking just do it right off the rip? Hurry up, Barry. Come on. There we go. Yo, you can fuck right off, bro. Ugh. I found a quarter, Barry? Really? Let's go. Oh. Let's fucking go. What did Barry upgrade to a Hummer or something? He's got the You're now leaving right fall. He's got the soon sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a game. <laughs> I'm gonna live in it. Nice. That looks so fucking creepy, man. But it looks so cool. Use weird ATB? No grid? Okay. Nice. Oh, absolutely, Camino. Actually, it works for DLive as well, and it works uh, halfway for Kick. So if someone posts on Kick, it shows up for everyone. But uh, people on Kick, it doesn't show up in their chat natively, but it shows up on the screen. I'm also streaming on Rumble right now. Uh, so Rumble doesn't have any integration right now, but I have a separate window open for Rumble, so I can chat to them if anyone talks to me there. So that that's what I love about... I mean, I, I'm not... A restream, like, I'm not sponsored by restream at all. Um, but I, so far, of all the different things, like, there's 
in OBS, which that's the software I use to be able to stream and record, um, there's plugins you can have to multicast in different areas. The problem with those is that they don't carry the chat over, right? And the one thing I love is I don't want to ever say to you, Camino, hey, uh, could you consider like just jumping over to the YouTube side so you could chat with everybody? I want you to be able to watch and hang out with us on the platform you like, right? If you prefer Twitch, great. Stay on Twitch and you can still interact not just with me, but with Real, with Stephanie, Elsar, anyone who else is like showing up, right? So I want people that way more people can participate and enjoy and, and be a part of everything, right? Love it. Rumble. Rumble is a, another streaming platform, just like DLive, just like like there's tons of them out there. Um, I'm, I was trying live space for a little bit and it was okay, but um, uh, there's a couple of discord groups I'm a part of and uh, creator, uh, creator kind of discords where, you know, I'm trying to stay on top of the ball and learn stuff. And so Rumble is a platform that I'm, I'm working on right now. So that's uh, in case you want to check that out, I will. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Hold on. I don't even know where I'm typing that shit. <laughs> Hold up. Just actually uh, started uh, putting content there uh, this week, and I have five uh, five followers there, so not bad. It's funny that I'm putting my Rumble link through the Kick Chat. <laughs> oh, that's comedy. Anyway, here we go. <sighs> That's fine, Mary. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. Okay. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry. I can. Al, I know. Listen, I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It okay. makes them come true. But there's a pitch, <clears throat> the dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. Okay, That's okay. All of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before, it happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Because, yeah, it's happened to him too. Now, that's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But yeah. They wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just uh oh, 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 shit. Oh no, this is where Barry ends up on the cliff. Oh, that's a nice truck too. Fuck. Oh, that's not good. Oh, damn, man. See, this is what I was saying about Barry. He's in it for the money, no fucking doubt. But now that he, he's been experiencing this too, he knows Al isn't fucking crazy. That's why he's like, I believe you. I, I'm here for you, man. Right? So there's, there's, there's a, aside from the greedy, leechy motherfucker agent that Barry is, he does care. He does. I lost my gun in the crash. Oh no, and my flashlight? Nowhere to be seen. Fuck. That means when Barry gets attacked, we have no way to help him. Barry! Barry! I have no flashlight, no gun. Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! Yeah, everyone else too. The car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! Don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that! Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. Ooh. There's no way you can climb down though. It's like a sheer wall. Okay. Yeah, I can't catch a brick, but at least we weren't catching broken bones on that. <laughs> Stephanie. I don't like that I don't have my at least a flashlight. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, 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 no
Yes. Barry, are you all right? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? Dude, shut up, Barry. Shut up, buddy. Okay, but something worse is going to happen to Barry, and I hope we save him. I hope he doesn't die. Oh. There's the farm. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's Rambo. Yeah. <laughs> this would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Now he's fucking Rambo, right? Yeah. Barry got a little high off of, with. I hope he's got more flares with him. Right, Artemis. Artemis is leaving. It was such a nice day here today in Vancouver. We finally were able to, like, we had our doors open, the kids were out playing and all over the place. It was a great day. And we were finally able to let the cat out into the backyard. And she was, like, really weird about it. So I just pick her up, I put her in the yard, and I pet her. It's okay. And then she was having a blast out there. So now, every time, she's going to start going crazy trying to get out. No, Camino, I haven't found the footlong cookie yet. That's crazy. I'm so glad you posted about that, though. That's insane. Uh oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy there, Al. Alan. Aw, oh, that could be a good little Christmas tree. Oh, this is gonna go bad right here. This is gonna go down. I feel like. Uh, uh. I'm gonna run. There we go. Whew. Oh, no. Is there any light anywhere? I need light. What's up here? <gasps> it's a generator. Gotta, gotta. Oh no! Don't do that! Oh shit! I'm going! Oh no! We're we're dead! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> oh god! No! We're dead! Time to go! Generator! Yes! Lights! Oh god! Oh no! Oh, we're. Holy shit, I don't like this. Have you had a footlong cookie, Camino, by any chance? <sighs> That's terrifying. We gotta go back out there, too. Fuck my life. When he stopped the car at the Anderson farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. What? Who's he? Is he us? Barry? Who's he? He who? Who -ha? Okay, just wait for it. There's another round. Gotta go. Oh no. Woo! Gotta use the trees as defense, man. Oh shit. I go up here. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm... Fuck off, birds. Don't do this to me right now. You getting here? The shadows crawled over the gate. Oh, no. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. Okay, there's Jenny somewhere. It's gotta be. Right? Please? God? <laughs> Anything? I need a generator. Up here. Ah, stairs. I missed them. Of the manuscript. <sighs> this game is on another level, guys. Agent Nightingale stared at the passed out rider. 
the man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Huh. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. This is the FBI he guy. He gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. Okay. Ah, here it is. I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. There we go. Oof. There we go. Oh shit! I mean, I meant to do that. Aha! Take that, you nefarious gate! <laughs> you watched uh, Grace American Hero? You can't find the cookie either? So it's a, probably a thing, but I guess like no one knows about it or asks about it that much. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. No! There we go. It's got flashlight, but no weapon. That sucks. Trust no one in the dark. Yeah, I get it. This is gonna suck, guys. We have no batteries. Does this go anywhere? All right, it's worth a shot. I was hoping to maybe find like a little secret stash of batteries or something, but no. Nope. All right. Oh no, I have no, oh fuck. Oh, uh, me no likey. Oh, shit. Time to go. Ah! Oh. oh, no, we're dead! These batteries? Oh, no, we're, we're fucked. We're, we're fucked. I can't attack them, man. I think you know what? I think I think it's just a. There's no way I can get get it done fast enough. I don't think. Wait, what's this about Gordon Freeman? What? I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous. I think I. You know what? Let's see if I can actually get it done fast. If I can't get it done fast, that means it's just a. It's a, like a fake out. It's a fake out. You know what I mean? Oh, I saw the movement up there too. Come on. Ah! Oh, no, we can't do it. We can't do it. We're out of here. It's it's a, it's a, it's fake. There's light up here. Okay. Oh. Fuck you! Oh my god! Oh, I got jukes. Yo, okay, so the first generator, it's just a fake. It's just to fake us out and delay us. We can't get it. We just can't do it. We gotta go. <sighs> it's gotta be sweating, man. The movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. So I can't, like, pick up the weapons they throw and use it against them, you know what I mean? Let's go. They're so fast. No, man. Oh, no, we're stuck. Oh, go up the stairs, go up the stairs. Please, 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 yes. Fuck you guys. 
Oh, oh God. Oh. Huh? Where you at, boys? Huh? Where'd you go? Assholes. Fuck. Okay, we can't go up here. Oh, Lord. That was intense. It's, it's gonna happen again, too, I bet. A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Right. Oh, it's a TV series? Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Oh, a little campsite? Oh, give me all the goods. Fuck yes. Give me the head of the duty. And can I have a beer? I'll take a beer. Fuck, there's no weapon though, just batteries. They're cooking some noms. Anything up here? No, okay. I could really use a secret cache right now. Oh, at least we got a bigger uh, battery. Yo, it's coming towards me. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. <sighs> oh, man. Fuck you, gate. Back to hell. Hello? Oh, okay. Checkpoint reached. We're about to get fucking uh, jumped. What is that? I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. Okay. So. I had seen glimpses of the light. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. So it's Big Daddy. One who'd been placing the pages on my path. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript. Right. Stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chained to the dark place it came from. Right. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. Free is in able to finally rest in peace or free to just go ham and fuck everything. Find out, huh? Flares, thank you, God. Okay, I will take it. I'm so scared right now. More light over there. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, God. All right. I thought there were manuscripts. They were not. Yo, what the hell? Can I go up this? I cannot, but there's a jetty. We need that. Oh, please, God, don't attack me right now. Please don't attack me right now. I'm scared. <sighs> weapons. Huh. Oh, glorious so weapons. I left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. And rounds, too. Shotgun's powerful, but we only got two rounds per... Like, there's no clip. It's just the barrel, right? How do we get up there? You know I gotta get my coffee thermos. We gotta get it, right? There we go. We just come up here. Ha ha. <sighs> What's down here? 
I hope I just fuck myself. Be good. It's crazy they have a little trap in here. That's diabolical. Is what that is. Okay, we want to go this way. Oh, wow. So many traps up here. I wonder why. I feel a little bit better now I have a flashlight and gun and flares. Like, I'm feeling a little bit better here. Oh, we're about to get jumped, though. There it is. Sir. Miss me, bitch. Oh, shit. Someone else got me. There's always one behind. They never, very rarely do they travel alone. Woo Let's go. Anyone else around here? Gentlemen? Haha. <laughs> bullets though so we gotta see a yellow on this nope yo ah! fuck off always more than one ah! fucker okay we're down three bullets here we gotta go we gotta go. Oh no. Okay, we got one round left. And one flare, one flare, one round. This is not good. What's up, buddy? Time to go. Oh my god! I'm in light, I'm in light, I'm in light. <laughs> base, base! We're home base! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> you ever do that as a kid when you're playing like some type of game? And it's like, yeah, I get to your base and you're, you're home free. It's like they can't touch you. <laughs> I claim base. <laughs> There's no way we we're fighting through that shit. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. All right. Well, let's go talk to this person. Uh-oh. The light. I don't like it. Hello? Anybody here? Is that Barry? Barry? That's Barry. No, Danny, you're not. Please. What are you? What are you? No, no, I'm sorry. That's not good. Whatever it was, we weren't going to get there anyway, so. I mean, I hope Barry isn't dead. If that's Barry, I hope he's not dead. Dude, this is so close quarters. Oh no. We have two doors. Who's this one? No. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. The fuck? Barry? Who is that? I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? Okay. It makes you see they're they're not gonna miss it. 
They're in the loony bin. But my buddy, Danny, I lost him. You lost yourself. What's gone wrong with him? It's not him. You're dead, bro. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. The best friends. Something bad guy. Who, who wrote this crap anyway? Oh, yo, Danny. Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. That sucks. Who wrote this shit anyway? I'm not feeling personally attacked at all right now. Okay, well, I mean, we got weapons. At least it wasn't Barry. I still feel for the guy, though. Can we jump out the window? Mm -hmm. Looks like Danny jumped out the window. Or Dark Danny. Should we call him Dark Danny? Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, exactly. Her story, and it's going to kill her and right. me and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Now we're thinking. We'll consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. Fuck yeah, let's go, Alan. We're I with you. Myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. Oh. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who'll help me. I'll make it happen. Dude. Yo. Okay, so this is kind of It's kind of genius if you think about it. He recognizes what's going on. He's like, "Okay, because I know what's going on, I'm going to write my fucking self in here cuz I know what's going on." Yo. I like this. This is okay. This makes sense. Why we are seeing all this stuff. We wrote. Oh my goodness. This has added a layer of depth I was not prepared for. Bravo Remedy Games with the storytelling and the writing. Oh my god. That is, you know what? I need a minute to reflect on that while I refill my drink. <laughs> Feel free to refill any uh, drinks or snacks you guys got going on. And we'll be back in a moment to continue to see if we can uh, make sure Barry stays alive. I hope. Because um, that would suck if uh, he doesn't make it. So, appreciate you. We'll be back and see you on the other side in a few moments. Whoo! Okay, okay, okay. We just got hit with a bombshell, my friends. A bombshell went kaboom. Yes, sir. We've discovered why Alan is experiencing these things because he has written himself into the story. This, like... This type of storytelling... I need to look into more games that Remedy has created because, damn. This is some good storytelling. It could, like... This could be a movie. This could, this could be a great fucking movie. Sheesh. Thank you, Stephanie. Glad to be back. Very glad to be back, especially to see if we're... I, I'm really hoping there's a chance Barry's going to die here because we. it was made very, very clear that, hey, because we've written ourselves into the story, every story needs to stay true to itself. And in a horror story, it's never clear if the main protagonist is ever going to win. And sometimes they don't. Other people need to die. We've seen Buddy over there. His friend Danny killed him. Right, Elizabeth? So, here we go. Oh, he's gone. Danny, what, what? Oh, no, 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 no. Buddy's back in the other area. Okay. Is there anything in here we can use? Nope. Going back downstairs. We do... 
I don't like that. I don't like that. Got a bear pelt. Poor bear, man. That bear is fucking legendary. Alright. So yeah, we have our revolver, one flare, and uh, five shoddy rounds. Got it. Stick to our revolver. <sighs> What's up, buddy? Ooh, you thought you were slick, bro. Danny, huh? Danny was a big boy. Danny was a big boy. Sheesh. I'm just gonna let my flashlight recharge. Danny boy. <laughs> As I said, man, the pipes, the pipes are calling. Oh, wow. Maybe we can, we can use the truck, though. The front door was locked. I have a shotgun. I can blow that shit crazy, man. Yeet. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. Dear, dear. Knew there'd be something up here. Hartman considers Mott and Wake. What? For a moment, Hartman considered strangling the idiot. Mott was mean spirited. Yep. Easily manipulated. Yep. An emotional infant who lived for his approval. Inferiority uh, complex. Talked about it. Difficult subject. Mott had given him too much leash. In two days, who knew what could happen? Hartman would have to find a way to rein him in, and quickly. Yep. We talked about Mott. Mott was one of those guys where it's like, he needed acceptance, he needed power, some type of personal power in his life, and so Hartman was able to easily manipulate that by giving Mott a little bit of, a little bit of power, as long as it stayed within Hartman's control, right? Hey, always remember to recycle. Super important. All right, time to go for a drive, shall we? Unless there's something in here. Oh, that's the <laughs> that's the, la, the loo. A little pit toilet. All right. All right. Well, I'm not gonna walk down any further because I'm terrified. Lady gamer, how's it going? Good to see ya. Happy Saturday night or Sunday morning, depending on where you're. Actually, is it Sunday morning here for us too? It, well, not quite. 11.15 over here in Vancouver. How is your weekend? It's great to see you. We are having a crazy good uh, time with Al Wake. Scary time. Here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. Right. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself. Uh, Barry was Barry. Right, Barry was Barry. <laughs> okay, let's not drive this off a cliff. Lady Gamer, what have you been playing lately? If you don't mind me asking. What have you been uh, enjoying? Oh, hold up, hold up. No, 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 no. We're not missing that. We're not missing this collectible. Thought they could seat that one by me. Always good to see some D-Live in the chat. 216, where you are. You're good, thanks. Glad to hear it. Um, I'm not sure if you've ever seen or played Alan Wake before. We're on episode four of this. It is a thriller. It is got my heart going <laughs> a lot of times. <laughs> Hope uh, you've been doing well. I just don't. I don't. I just don't know what to expect. I bet we can go up there. I think we should. It wants me to go that way. But we're not going to do it. There's more shit to look at. We can check stuff out over here. I feel like we're going against the grain, but... I'm okay with that. Can I get this car? Yo, we can! That has better lights, too. <laughs> I like the arrow. That's great. Ooh, yes, more batteries. Yes, please. Let's go. But yeah, uh, lady, have you uh, have you played Alan Wake at all? Have, do you know what Alan Wake's all about? Have you seen it? <clears throat> there we go. Flashbangs, yes, and a flare gun. Oh God, yes, we need that. This is why you go off the beaten path, folks. No, okay. It's basically a kind of a, a third. It's a third-person view, as you can see, like kind of horror thriller type game. 
And it's it's in my head, man. This game is nuts. <laughs> it has been one hell of a ride. I don't know what I'm stuck on here. Alan, stop it. What the hell? There we go. Yeah, let's go down. Alright, let's leave. We'll take this. It looks like it has better lights. Hold on, what was that? So, the, the main thing here, Lady Gamer, is that in the dark, there's shadow, uh, dark presence, and we have to bring it to light before it's vulnerable. Oh, shit, what I hit? <laughs> Something's... See, something that simple just has me on edge. This game has me on edge so much. It's ridiculous. And look at this car, guys. This is the car from the very first scene of the whole game. Think there's some symbolism in that? I think there is. I th actually, I think we're in. I don't know if you drive it, but. Oh shit! Oh no! What a waste of my flare gun. Ah, oh, that sucks. Have you thought about not being? <laughs> no, you. You troll him for that one, my friend. <laughs> it's like. That's like me when, when my wife is mad at me and and she has the most legitimate reason to be pissed off at me and I should go, honey, love, baby. Have you considered not being angry? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> you imagine the trouble I get? I get she would have had divorce papers like this. <laughs> hey, hey Nikki, uh I, I I know I took the last Coke Zero and we, we can't get any for a couple of days. But have you considered just not being mad at me? You know? <laughs> oh, God, that'd be comedy, my friend. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, hopefully there's some good... Yeah, there's a gun in there. Oh, yes. Now, do... We have three. Five, I'll take that. And hunting rifle ammo, done. Is there a song like that, Be On The Edge or something? I think there's like some 80, 80s kind of band, like uh, they have a song with Be On The Edge or something. Well, as I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we all felt coming is finally here. Yep. The boys at the weather service reckon it'll last until morning. At the of course it will. Least. Pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. The sheriff's department's still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. That's our wife. Lost in the woods, and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please make sure you get her indoors and call the sheriff. Bad Dawkins song? To be caught out in. So if you see someone in the area... I think that might be... Is that Rose or is that our wife? Give him a hand, all right? <clears throat> this is Pat Main on KBF FM. And you're all safe and warm. And, and likewise, I hope you're all safe and warm tonight as well, my friends. Just like good old Pat. Look at this bed. Look at the... Look at that pattern. That's really interesting. Alright, let's get out of here. Hold up. There, uh, did I miss... Oh. I almost missed that ammo. Can't do that. We need that. Only playing Fortnite to get your thousand followers. How close are you, Lady Gamer? I believe I follow you. Uh, how close are you on DLive to 1,000, if you don't mind me asking? Because I know you're a pillar, like, on DLive. I think you've actually been gracious enough to host me a couple of times. Oh, that's not good. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, you can't get me from there, bro. Come on. Woo, let's go. 907. All right, my friends, if you happen to be on DLive, which is one of the platforms you're streaming on, Lady Gamer is a fantastic uh, streamer, awesome person, and just a fun uh, fun time just to hang out on stream. So if you happen to be on DLive in any way, shape, or form, please feel free to stop in and uh, see if we can bump her up just a little bit. Because um, I know she's, that's her goal here, so... Um, she's been great enough to host me multiple times, I remember. Um, so, I, I definitely do as well. So, 
that's uh i'm, I'm pulling for you lady I, I, hopefully that's do you have a time frame do you have a goal like a certain time you're hoping to get that for or just whenever okay so do we go here like this is actually kind of like open world stuff Like, I don't even know where to... I mean, we have the map. Oh, we came from here. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. So we're supposed to go this way. Got it. So the farm's over there. Okay, got it. We're going the right way now. Hey, it's the least I can do. Like I said, I mean, you were great stuff to drop a couple O's here for me. Um, so, I'm very happy to show you up again. What was... Okay, so we're dealing with that now. Holy shit. Hey, guy. Bop. Oh, we got a lot of bad boys here, huh? I got a car. What are you going to do with that? Oh, he's still alive. Okay, we're going to keep on going. Just going to keep on trucking. I get it. Can I barge through this? No, we don't want to do that. Okay, got it. Hey, sir, can I talk to you? Whoa! See ya. Oh, shit! Right of way. What is that trophy? You play with your VR in the You have VR? Oh, uh, I'd love to get some of the VR stuff. I just don't have the money. <laughs> Peeled 15 taken off your bumper. Ooh, nice. Okay, I do not like being in this field. Do we have to get out of the car? I don't want to get out of the car. Please don't make me get out of the car. Damn it. Is there still a big boy out here? Stay on the road. What's, it, what's the main platform that you... I have to get out of the car. Shit. What's the main platform that you play on? Is it a console, PC? Do you, like, switch different uh, platforms? You don't mind me asking, Lady Gamer? Oh, I hear you. Oh, shit. A little something for you, boys. What's up, buddy? Yeah, no, nah, not happening today. Oh, okay, my bad. Okay, I think we gotta keep going or else we're just gonna keep using all of our ammo on dudes spawning in here. You're on a PS5? Nice, I want a PS5. They just announced, well, you know what, they didn't officially announce, it leaked, the PS5 Pro is so coming out, and for someone who's wanted or needed a PS5 for some time, because now there's a couple games out that are only on PS5, that's like, oh, I want that. But it's been over 600 bucks since it launched here in Canada, and... I can't go to my wife and say, hey, you know what, babe? I just dropped 600 bucks on a, on a game console. <laughs> you know? Um, so I'm worried that if right now in Canada, if the P PlayStation 5 is still over 600 bucks now, what the fuck is the PS5 Pro going to be? You know? You would have gone through the fields? Here's the thing, Stephanie. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm sorry. Jesus! Can I drive my car through? Here's the thing, Stephanie, is is the car, it's it's all a wall there. I can't drive past it, right? Oh shit! Oh no. Okay, I get it. Yo. Fuck you guys. Oh, those guys came out of flipping nowhere, man. Holy jeez, thank god I had a flashbang. That's what you paid over, over 600? Are you in Canada? Are you US? Or where are you located? If you don't mind me asking, you don't have to like, obviously don't dox yourself, don't give us like your location, but like what country, right? That's not including tax. What's the tax in BC? Like 14? No, we're 
Uh, if you if for GST and PSC, it's twelve point five right now. So yeah, you're in Canada as well, lady. Okay, cool, cool. I'm I'm in the Vancouver area personally. Similar to Elsar, which I uh, you probably know of him. Oh, dude, not cool, bro. Throwing shit at me, I, I don't like that. I'm not okay with that. Now, I could get the PS5 that doesn't have the disk drive, but I just want the option to still keep phys uh, physical media, you know what I mean? Checkpoint reach? Oh, we're in the light. Is there any uh, collectible, like any ammo? Nothing, huh? Shit. All right. So, what? what's the some of the favorite games you like to stream, lady? I, I'm curious. I haven't had the uh, the fortune of being able to join any of your streams. Just, I guess, the time doesn't match up. What type of games do you enjoy? What do you play? Fortnite, that you said, right? Fortnite's one of the main ones? Oh, no. We're going over this way, huh? One thing I like about this game is that it's very story-driven on rails, and I'm okay with that. I like that. But then it has, this, like, these wide-open areas, too, where... It gives you the semblance like, oh shit, it's pretty big, you know, pause. <laughs> that describes is important to uh, play physical PS4 games. Yes, right? Exactly. Exactly. Give me no. What's this? It's red. Can I pick it up? Oh, it's a rocket. Oh, like a... Um... Oh! Yo! Build it and they will come. This is their fucking, like, their, they, they built a huge concert place on their on their property. Let's go. Look at the. I knew and the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars. Right. It hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Wow. Wow, cutscene. No, don't kill him. No. What? <laughs> what is this? What? <laughs> Yo, Barry got saved by some fucking heavy metal. Let's go. Yo, yeah, right, Stephanie? This is sick. Look at this. Okay, hold up. Let's go. Do it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh shit! Yo, asshole. This is my stage, man. You ain't upstaging me. Hold up, there's a collectible right here. Let's go. Oh no! I almost got attacked for getting some coffee. Oh yeah, let's go. This is the good shit right here. Oh no. Reload, reload, reload. Yeah, I'm good, bro. I got you. I'm here. This is fucking badass. I'm so here for this. Let's go. Collateral carnage. What is going on here? This is so fucking cool, guys. This is really cool. Hi, guys. Right? Woo! He's loving it. Barry's fucking loving it. I 
I'm out of ammo though. Yo, we're low. I gotta get, I gotta get shoddy. Yo, crash the sage ain't cool, bros. I gotta be careful here. I only got so much ammo here. Let's go! This was one of the most fucking epic things I've experienced with games. This is amazing. Remedy Games, you are awesome. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, like, we got rock and metal. We're like taking out guys. Oh my goodness. That was just stupid fun. Stupid fun. Like, you even have to think. It's just like... As soon as that music hit, we got fireworks, we got pyro, we got lights, we got metal. Oh my goodness. I gotta take a sip to that. Cheers to that shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They didn't release Alan Wake physically? Was it only a... So can I get that on my PS5 or PS4? Probably not. Probably not. We, we are going to do Alan Wake 2 at some point. I have to, because if this is this good, I can only imagine, like, I've heard so many good things about Alan Wake 2. And I, it's like, I'm wondering now, because I'm a PlayStation guy. I've been a PlayStation guy since, oh God, since Final Fantasy 7 came out on PlayStation 1. I was like, okay, I'm switching from Nintendo to PlayStation. What other Xbox games that were so fucking good that I, like this, that I've missed? And I can't wait to try those out. That explains the explosion in the manuscript. Yes, Stephanie, absolutely. Right? Balls, rock and roll capital of America. Fuck yeah, let's go. Barely have any uh, revolver ammo, though. We got a little something here. Ooh, nice. We got all the goodies. Oh, yeah, we're stocked. And we got a huge... Look at our flashlight. It's like one of those big-ass lanterns. It's great. And Barry is still alive, so I am okay with this. We are maxed out. There we go. I don't care. Hey, ow. This way to the farm. Yeah, I got you, bro. It's something about not being profitable be a physical release. How much money is it? I mean, I wish I knew what the cost were to physically print discs. And then the case and artwork, right? Because Remedy Studios, I guess, you know what? That makes kind of sense because Remedy is no longer beholden to, to Microsoft. Like, they had the exclusivity for years whenever this came out. Remedy was an Xbox studio, I guess, or, or uh, maybe they were second party or third party, and they just had the rights to this for how, however many long years. I can't talk properly. Uh, I'm still getting over the fucking heavy metal rock that just happened. <laughs> so, I um, guess that makes sense. It's similar to the developers who made Dangerous Driving, right? That we're, we stream, we, we're going through Dangerous Driving right now, and... They split away from EA and, and whatever to make dangerous driving, but they didn't have the money to get licensed music. So that makes sense. If Remedy isn't like a studio, like an Xbox studio, then yeah, they're probably trying to save as much money as possible. So they spent a lot of money into their staff and everything and built this awesome game. But that means they had to skimp on the money for a physical release. So box art, physical printing discs, all that shit, right? So, yeah, thanks for that, uh, the insight on that, Camino. I appreciate it. Here we go. Scarecrows. Okay, that was really fucking cool. But now I'm worried. <laughs> it's gonna get scary again here. I love how Barry's in this bright, the bright red bomber jacket. You can't miss him. Uh, that looks important. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. What? I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. I, I, I really am sick and tired of the fucking cutout. This thing moved out of the way. 
This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. All right, I got you, bro. I've been doing this for for an, a couple hours, so I know what's up. <laughs> Gotta get up there somehow. So how do we do that, though? Up to the roof, right? There it is. There's a ladder. Nice and easy. Xbox exclusive. Project Gotham Racing 4, 2 Human, Crackdown, Perfect Dark, Perfect Dark Zero. Okay, Saints Row. I thought Saints Row was multi-plat. I appreciate those suggestions, though. I know we're going to be doing the Mass Effect series sometime soon. I think Mass Effect wasn't exclusive, though. something to say uh, what's that Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake I'm always right about everything and if I don't get my way I'll sulk all day long I'm always intense and moody it makes me very attractive and mysterious right now I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me but that's okay I can just take him for granted I think I see what you did there. <laughs> you want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Listen, Barry, we pay you a lot of fucking money. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Huh. Barry, asshole. <laughs> Whoopsie, my bad. He just dropped, like, dude. He's holding on to my likeness. You're such a fanboy, bro. Saints Row only on Xbox? Really? Oh, okay. Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al? They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Facts, they did. I wonder how much money they spent. Look at all this stuff. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys before? And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality ha. TV? Ha <laughs> Sleep. Oh. Oh, night spring. Back memory. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? Your first real writing job. What got you started? Was this one of your episodes? Alan Wake wrote for Night Springs. Interesting. Dream of dreams. No, Lady Gamer, thank you. Like I said, I appreciate the, the host that you had before. You're, you're a real one. So happy to help out if I can. Okay. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh wow, who's that? You don't know him? What are you new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything. All of this. But wait, no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Is it isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Who's dreaming about the dreamers? Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. This is some Fall Fancy Ten shit. Hello! So good to see you. Hope you're having a great so weekend. Keep things nice and calm. Hey, something something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh god help us, it's an alarm clock. Yo, what's good? Dean Entertainment on Rumble, how you going? Good to see ya. Yo, so they're connecting people like with dreams and dreaming with this game where Holy shit, there's so many levels to this game, aside from what we've learned already. Um, so that episode, I wonder if that's one Alan Wake did. You're doing good, Todoroki? It's fantastic. I'm here with you guys enjoying a fantastic game right now. So they were basically talking about, hey, there's someone who's dreaming. Every one of these characters are like, oh, don't wake them up or else we're going to lose. And, and that's what happened. So it's all kind of connected in here, too. It's crazy. This game is nuts. I love it. And, um, Stephanie, the shotgun ammo, I'm already full. I have 32 rounds, so I can't uh, pick up any more. Thank you, though. Whew. Hey, there's a collectible. Yeah, shout out to the Rumble people. 
We actually just started doing a multicast on Rumble here uh, this week, so it's been kind of cool. All right, how are we getting up top? It's got to be uh, stairs. Or there they are. There's stairs. I'm worried. We're, uh, there's a jump scare around the corner here somewhere. Ah, there's a manuscript. Dean Entertainment, have you uh, played uh, Alan Wake at all? Just asking. Okay, let's see what's here. Anderson Brothers in the 70s. Okay. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Okay. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. Mm. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. So it, it all has to do with Cauldron Lake. And what is in Cauldron Lake here? Cauldron Lake's fucking... There's something going on there, guys and girls. Okay. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Yeah, it did. That's some real shit. I love how Barry just stands out with his big <laughs> red bomber jacket, man. <laughs> Let's get some power. Hold up, what's that? Lithium batteries? Yes, please. Oh, we're full. Here we go. Yeah, we got this. We've done this before. Nope. Todoroki, have you played Alan Wake at all? Have you seen Alan Wake before? The Old Gods of Asgard, 1975, Ragnarok Tour. They spelt it wrong. Be awed by Celestial Wrath and Fury. Seattle, Bakersfield, Long Beach, all West Coast. Oh, they got New York in there. Some East Coast stuff. Okay, cool, cool. They were doing pretty good for themselves. Okay, let's get out of here. What? Uh, what's up, buddy? Yo, what the? I was very rude. I'm the moment here in the bar and he tried to roll up on me like that? Oh, shit! Oh. Okay, shotgun's coming out. Enough of that bullshit. Shotty's out. Bitch. Whew. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Full auto for the racing stuff. Okay, Camino, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Yeah, the slow ones are so good, aren't they, Stephanie? Oh my god, I love it. I mean, in Vancouver, Canada. Sir. Can't have you roll up at me like that. We're talking about Vancouver, Canada right now, not your scary ass. Um, it's always like gray, rainy, cold. Today was warm, man. And so we just got out and about with it. So it was a good day. It was a good family day today. It really was. What's this? Hello? Oh, yeah. Give me that. See, now I can pick it up. Yeah, Elizabeth, your birthday's coming up soon, too, which is great. It's going to be awesome. Whoa. Who are you attacking, bro? Oh, he's going after Barry. Hold up, dude. I want to explore... And you're messing up with my, my, my shit here. There's something back here. There's gotta be. No? Okay, it looks like there's a secret there. Oh, see that's other... Oh. Distracted gaming. Go, oh, buddy. I see you. Like, make a move, bro. Just, just make a move. Make a move. I have to, I have to like act like I don't see him. That way I can get him. Bitch. There we go. Ha. Ah, I did see you though. It raining the whole day? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Usually we're the rain capital of Canada, so. 
Okay, buddy, stay close, bro. I'm scared for all of our our safety. Oh, that's that's bad. We gotta look around though. Could be secrets. Could be things to find. No, nothing there. Okay. A lot of electrical shit just hanging over like everywhere. Just looking for. Oh. What's up, boys? Oh no. Okay, I. See. Ah, oh, that hurt. Okay, boys, I got something for you. Oh, that still got me? Hold on, let me reload, let me reload. Bitch. Got you. There we go. We use a lot of ammo. How about you, uh, Todoroki? What have you been doing with your off time? What games have you been playing? Enjoying? Oh, shit. We we even told you guys it was okay. <laughs> and I walk into that. Chickens? Hey, I could go for a chicken sandwich right now. That'd be good. That'd be great. Okay. Watch out for the electricity. Yeah, that's creepy as F. Yo, where's Barry at though? I'm worried for Barry. Reload while we can. Barry, where you at, brother? Barry? Talk to me. There he is. Whew. Okay. Alright, we're here, bro. Yo, how'd they even get this farm? It's got some groceries, some pizza with wings. Nice. Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. Okay. Pizza with wings sounds amazing right now. I could go for some pizza and wings. Sheesh. The door was barred from the other side. Okay. I have to find another way. Do we climb up? Like, what do we do here? Nope, can't do that. Ladder? Or stairs somewhere? I am so confused right now. Is there a downstairs? I don't know where to go. Where do we go here, guys? Am I missing something? There we go. Okay. There's there we go. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. What type of wings you get? I'm more of a, a dry kind of style. Like I'll enjoy Hey an ice cream. Thank you, lady. I appreciate you. Dry spices type stuff. Personally. What about you? What do you enjoy? Okay, thanks, uh Barry. Appreciate that, buddy. I think you need to worry about yourself more than me. <laughs> sure, I need that. Yep. It's so dark here, guys. Like, can I jump up here? Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, huh. There, there it is. Oh, hello. Yes. I will take the shotgun ammo. Thank you. In fact, actually, let's switch over to it. Whoa! Okay, okay. I see you. Don't like that? I'm sorry. Not. <sighs> Buffalo? Yeah, Buffalo's nice, too. Yeah, there's a collectible right there. There we go. Now, not not too spicy, too hot yet. 
But I've been starting to enjoy spicy stuff and the flavor of spicy stuff in my food. Which is just, hey man, it's part of life. You know? It's a, it's one of the things, uh, benefits of it being able to enjoy life. You start you see where a kid? Nice. I, ne I never had that opportunity, personally. Yeah, give me batteries. Hell yeah. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night. Ooh. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We got... We hit all the radio shows. Nice little gold trophy there. Love it. One, deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Oh, we got some cops on the line, on the air. Are you now? Deer Fest is almost here, isn't it? I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Mm. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. Do tell, gentlemen. Talk about that, oh. Gordon. I wasn't going to say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year? Uh-huh. Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. A little wild. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. <laughs> all sorts of trouble this year. Uh-huh. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. Oh. A lot of people gone missing, too. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does <laughs> Deer Fest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or yeah. they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but definitely, Pat. <laughs> hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Yeah, I'm talking here. I'm talking here. I lost my train of thought. Train of thought, so bored at the station. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. <laughs> that's nice to hear, at least. Yeah, that's true. I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. Yeah. All right. Cool. We're full. There you go. Have for lunch mozzarella jalapeno smokies. Ooh, that sounds good, Elizabeth. Flavor called chocolate habanero would be too spicy for you. Hey, you know what? If we were on one of Elsar's spicy streams, I would do it for the content and for your entertainment and my detriment. <laughs> oh yeah, give me some light. Let there be light. Bop. Bop. I still think the smoke coming off all these generators are ridiculous. So bad. Here we go. I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. All right, there it is. Wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. Cool enough. See a couple people lurking over on Rumble. Hope you guys are doing well, Rumble people. Thanks for popping in. Tried the bomb. Stuff was really hot. Okay, yeah, I couldn't handle it. <laughs> That's why you guys tuned in. <laughs> Probably you were there for Elstar Streams. <laughs> when I did the hot waves, I was like, ah, I can handle it. Oh, man. Okay, where are we going here? Yo, I don't know where Barry is, but. What? You've got to be kidding me. What was that? Whoa! Oh, shit! The fucking. What? Oh god, yo, that's what the fuck? No way. Fucking harvester? Die. Dude. What the flip was that shit? What's up, boys? I'm here to fuck around and find out. Let's go. Yo, that was... Hi, buddy. What do we say we, uh... No? Okay. Miss me, bitch. Oh, no. 
I got lucky. <laughs> a fucking combine came out of nowhere to slice and dice special sushi rice my ass. Oh my gosh. Just when you think the game has nothing going on, it drops that on me. Sheesh. You guys want some corn? They, we just... Oh my gosh. You know, try some hot sauce. Guy was amazed that you could handle the spice. Man, guy, guy has to learn, man. Elizabeth, you got it like that. You can handle your stuff. Yeah, yeah give me some goodies, please. After that, I beat a freaking shadow combine. Come on now. Sheesh. And nothing else for my flare. Oh, shit, okay. All right, well. Watch this go this way? Okay, how do I do that? Do I open this up? Elsar! Hey, my guy! Good to see you, man. How you doing? Make Carly joke. It's funny. Everyone laugh. Ha ha ha. Okay. Guess we gotta go back to where it came from here. Always room for corn. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we gotta go that way. How the fuck do we get there, though? Yeah, I'm just gonna look around here real quick until we try and figure this out. Were your ears burning? We were talking about you. And we were talking about spicy shit. And uh, some of the, the hot wing streams I had the pleasure of joining you on. Your dinner of fish and cream corn? Nice. Cream corn's always... It's, cream corn surprised me as a kid. I never thought I'd like it. I'm like, eh, it looks gross. And I taste them like... Hold up. What's that chick? She tried like Sambuca for the first time. She's like... She eats it. She's like... Uh, then, hmm? Uh, hmm? Something like that, right? Anyway. Oh, my bad. Anything in here? Nope. Okay, we gotta get back to the spot. The spot that's hot. So I figure out how to get there. Get through here? I'm a little bit confused, guys. I don't, I, I, I don't know. How do we get there? Can't open this up. How do we go? If you guys see something, let me know. I'm totally missing this. Oh, I got out of here. I know to open the silo door for Barry. Can't get there. Must have missed something. It's very dark. Hard to see, you know. Oh, can I slide? No. Can't do that. Gotta be this way. Gotta be. There's another door through here? Like... Yo. Oh, there it is. Okay. Dude. You guys, like, come on. Like, that ladder was really hard to see, right? Ambush? Ambush? Gotta be an ambush, right? This feels like an ambush. Ooh, silo keys. Okay. This is creepy as F. Here we go. Uh, Al? Is that you out there, buddy? Oh. Hey, let's go, man. This game is crazy. <clears throat> it's so fun. Think we're gonna have to work and scary. This gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. The little Sam Rogers shanties, nice. The other side of the field, we're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Facts. Bahala. Do it again. Come on, one more gig. There we go. I love they got the shields and shit. Hold on, old gods know the truth. They're basically saying the old crazy dudes, they've been telling us true shit the whole time. Okay. Okay. Here we go. The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. Sure. Look. Got a little drum kit here, a little uh, stage. The power down. 
downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Okay. See, these was never on PlayStation. I thought it was. I thought it was totally cross-platform. <clears throat> I know. Uh, I'm sorry. You, you do a lot of Sea of Thieves stuff with some, uh, with uh, some of the uh, other awesome uh, D Live people. I caught a couple of those streams. Your year end, uh, your end review. That, that was really cool, by the way. The, 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 I think it included like there was a Easter egg about a guy who who died. And so he had like a final thing. You guys all have to do a special thing together. It was really cool. We go in here. Yup. Hey, another one. A lot of coffee thermoses around here, huh? Asgard. You know this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Come on, Al. Let's get the lights on, huh? No. Okay. I'm all about exploring first, guys. I can. Rare's a developer. Oh, okay. Ooh, manuscript. <clears throat> Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. Mm -hmm. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about <clears throat> to reveal itself. Dun dun dun! Alright. Yeah, I remember Perfect Dark. Yeah, Rare. Rare, dude, Rare has a lot of classics. Donkey Kong Country 1? Anybody? Do we go in here? Nope. In here? Hello, nurse. Hello? Nope, nothing there. Yeah, there's a fuse box. Let's go. They got their music playing. That chandelier. Nope. Can you hear that, Al? Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Okay. Lady of the Light? That's gotta be... What's her face? The crazy lamp lady from the town. Yep. Cynthia Weaver. Right. Must be. Let's get back to town, right? You're mad with the light. Find the Lady of the Light. You're mad with the light. What's this? You'll need the witch's cabin key. We had that in episode one, though. What? Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Al, lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some. No, and no. I need this is how people die in horror movies. They get drunk when shit's going down. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> no, don't get drunk, guys. We're gonna get drunk in some rocker Vikings place. Yo, cheers! Cheers, drinks up! No matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. He's drunk as fuck! If I just wanted to, I could write ten books. And they'd be the best books that year. No. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of the. This is amazing, I'm loving this. I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a uh, 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 booze million. <laughs> this is amazing. This is Mr. Barry. I just some, wonder, he's in his feels right now. I know, I know. Okay. He's giving him the pat pat. We're gonna make it up. Okay. Oh, bro. he's got the cut out there. We're fucking done. Oh, yo. 
This is hilarious because I've been in that situation with my buddies and we've... <laughs> oh, God. Uh-oh. Not the cutout. <laughs> Are we going to fight the cutout of ourselves? What the fuck, though? What's go... What? Yeah. What? What's going on? Okay, I want to pause before we get serious here. That was flipping hilarious. Alan Wake getting fucking hammered drunk. I, I could write 10 novels if I wanted to. But you can't. No, but I could. Like... Dude. <laughs> okay, Diver's Isle. This is the beginning of episode one where all the shit went down. Right here. Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. Why are we transparent? It was a crazy drunken dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Anderson's moonshine. Okay. I was there. An out-of-body observer. Okay. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. Mm -hmm. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. Right, she was afraid of the dark. And we talked about this in episode one where it was funny that Alan Wake is a horror author and his wife is scared of the dark. Like, she had a legit phobia to dark. Like, what? <clears throat> <laughs> she jumped out the window. Alice. Yeah. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater. Right. Sinking into the darkness. Right. This is an episode one. After her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel right. of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Right. Okay, what? I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Right. Go help. Should we help ourselves? Yo, I got you, bro. Alice. I'm, I'm Jagger here for you. Had Alice, Alice. And so she had me. Jagger? Who's Jagger? Alice. We're talking about Mick. been easy prey what look at the cabin is there someone in the window what alice maybe she didn't drown after all maybe she's inside that's the old fucking witch bitch yes. yo what irish cream on march 17th possibly a little uh saint patty's day right the dark presence had touched me yeah. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. Okay. Yeah, so this 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 dark presence in the water, cauldron lake, whatever that is, made us feel like our wife was fucked up somehow, dead, whatever. And so it was now stringing us along, making us think that, oh, there's a chance we could save her. So in order to do that, we had to follow her bidding. Something like that. Yeah, it is March 17th right now. I don't have any Irish cream on me right now. I have some some rye, which we're enjoying, along with this game. And you find people in the chat. There she is, right there. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Like, yes, why is she... That's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Ouch. Because remember, in episode one, at this point, Alan had, like, angrily bitched her out and, and left, right? Because she was hoping he would be able to kind of get back to himself. And he was like, yo, no, I just want to relax. I don't even think about work. And so she had brought a typewriter thinking that this whole area would make him relax and then get into a, an ability to start working because he had writer's block right he was a writer who had writer's block so she's trying to help right as a, a caring wife that makes sense so she was trying to say you know 
figure out a way how she could get her husband to get past whatever he was trying to get past. And so he saw the, the, the typewriter. He's like, fuck, what the hell? I'm trying to relax. And, and so he left the house pissed off. And that's when all of a sudden she was like, oh, my God. Right. So that's what this person talking about trying to apologize to her. You were foolish to think so, bitch. You said you, you encouraged us. What the hell? No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no. Lies. It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. No! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. Yeah, I bet you will. Now we're a puppet. Look at the owl. That's... You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. Creepy. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Why, though? She somehow controls the, the dark presence. Yes. All right. That's robotic, I'll dude. Fix it. I'll bring her back. Yo, she's looking at us right now. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark. I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Okay. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even Jagger. Even the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to run <coughs> and escape into the story. Nice. To bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish. Okay. To interrupt the horror story before the ending. Where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away. Tom, but Tom I Zane. Into the story, and his light had been enough to set me free. Tom was the original. He got. I'm here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. We'll know I'm here. It will be back soon. That's a big daddy for Bioshock. I'm just saying. This is fucked up, guys. Yo. I had woken up, confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. Yes, Elizabeth, or uh, Stephanie, yes. So Tom Zane, Barbara. I was barely conscious and fading fast. He was in the oh, okay. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. Okay, pause, 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 pause. We gotta, we gotta put this together. <sighs> okay, so episode one, we get to the cabin. Um, Jagger is the name of this. Uh dark presence okay this dark presence wants to take everything over originally it had used tom zane tom zane was an author just like alan wake uh tom zane had a wife named barbara and the physical de um, depiction of this jagger is using barbara tom zane's wife uh her view her or not her view her physical presence her, her what she looks like so I guess that didn't quite work out fully because now Jagger took us. Uh, so, okay, bear with me, guys. Stay, stay, stay with me. I'm, I'm trying to stay with myself here. So totally separate of Tom Zane, Barbara, and Jagger. Alan Wake was a well-known author and he had writer's block. So, and he 
had, uh, you know, he was having problems. So Alan Wake's wife said, let's get to Cauldron Lake. Let's have a vacation. Let's relax. And, and part of that was she was worried about her husband. So part of her plan was to get Alan Wake to the lake and to get to this Bright Falls, not only to relax, but also see Dr. whatever his face was to help with his writer's block to become not as dark and whatever and brooding as he was. However, when Alan Wake got there, Jagger recognized this presence and she wanted to do to Alan Wake what she did to Tom Zane. Allow Alan to write into existence her power, I suppose. Um, this sounds weird, I know. Um, so we got there, we got to this island, and that's where Jagger made it look like Alan Wake's wife jumped into the water, died. And she's like, listen, Alan, hey, this sucks. But you can write her back. Here, write the story. And it took him a week to do that. However, in that week, Al Wake recognized what was happening. He's like, yo, I got to write Tom into the story to get me out of this bullshit. A week passed. He gets out of the shit. He goes to his car. And then in his car, in his days and confusedness, he fucking ends up almost crashing over a cliff. That's in episode one of what happened. And now, bear with me. If you, if you haven't been here for all episodes, go back to beacons.ai slash gamercam. You can see all the previous episodes. Um, that's where in episode one, he all of a sudden wakes up over a cliff in this car. Like, what the fuck happened? That's crazy, guys. So now we're brought full circle right before that car crash happens happens i don't want to say it like that in episode one holy shit remedy studios you guys did an amazing job with storytelling i want to go throw rocks at something i don't even know i can't handle this let's go but he had managed to weaken the dark presence kept me safe that night until the accident off cliff here we go Mm-hmm. I wrote it. It's my fault. Okay. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. What? That's the... Oh, my God. The FBI guy who's crazy. Oh, what? I want to sit here and just chill with you guys and listen to the song, but this is going to claim me on copyright on YouTube, so. <laughs> Alright, guys and girls. Let's see how the beginning of episode 5 is going to be before we wrap up the stream. And I, and I will be shouting out all of you fine people in all of our chats as I do. Let's see how episode 5 is going to begin right now. Previously on Alan Wake, under the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote mm -hmm. a story that is coming true. Yep. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Yep. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Nice. Create something absolutely wonderful. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. Right. Mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. The clicker? What is this fucking? Is this the clicker? A record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year. Is this the last of us? Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deerfest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. Yep. Alan, they, that, that's Barry. Barry's in the cell. We're together. <laughs> Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in your That's the crazy chick from uh, episode one. That's why she's always crazy about, like, the... She was crazy about the, the, the darkness in episode one. 
All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in <laughs> oh, Wait, we're in jail now? Hell, oh, hell, this is not good. That about sums it up. <laughs> oh no, no, Barry, not on your own crotch. Come on now. Everyone who said that drinks again. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? <clears throat> Whatever you say, Al, but we're stuck here. They're not gonna... I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, you can read? You now, Raymond Chandler. It's what? all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there, Greg Easton Ellis? What's with the references, bro? I want to talk to your superior. I like her. I wanted my. Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. Whoa, darkness, dark. Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're Atta girl! Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed yes. you your unofficial business. Facts! Whoa! Get, get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Whoa. I know this. What the fuck? Oh my god. Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Oh man. We're sitting ducks with the lights out. Stay cool. I can get the emergency power on. Oh fuck. If that wasn't a flipping trailer for episode five my friends you're gonna want to tune into that because i want to tune into that jesus i cannot wait for episode five i hope i will see you all there as well but until the next stream i do want to thank the people who are on our chat tonight big shout out and thank you stephanie thompson elizabeth jacob i like puppies zero camino christian gazit Real Lady Gamer, Todoroki Elfsar. And over on Rumble, we had Dean Entertainment. Here until the next stream, my friends. Stay healthy, stay safe. Go give us a high five. We'll see you all on the next one. Bruce Buffer, as Elfar said, peace. I've been grinding all night.